hello folks so this is the continuation of uh, you know the previous video and is the part 2 of our word embedding python code uh, video where we actually developed and trained word to vec model using gensim uh, library in this video i am going to show you the real magic of word to vec algorithm by uh, generating most similar words and corresponding embeddings if we provide a specific word to our model i will also show uh, what output our model will give when we uh, provide a query string which is a kind of a mathematical equation uh, such as queen plus man minus women okay so what will we get if we provide this query to our model so please watch this video till the end to acquire this amazing knowledge Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality, and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI-based products and applications. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel. Or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century so let me quickly uh, move on to the collab jupyter notebook to explain the remaining uh, uh, you know uh, remaining piece of source code to see some world embeddings getting generated so this is my jupyter notebook on google collab so you can see in this cell uh, that i try to see some uh, word embeddings using most similar method here okay so i try to see some word embeddings using this most similar method which the model learned from the movie review data set of imdb and i used the word amazing here to see the uh, other similar words used in the same context okay uh, uh, you know or the word embeddings related to this particular word amazing Okay, so you when I ran the cell, you can see that it generated words like incredible, fantastic, wonderful, outstanding, awesome. So as I explained in the introductory video, uh, these are the word embedding. Uh, these numeric values are nothing but a word embeddings or word encodings associated to this particular word. So this is the encoding of this word. Similarly, for rest other uh, rest of other words. these numeric values are word encodings or word embeddings for the corresponding words okay next i try to see the word the word embedding for the word awful okay so i try to see uh, use the same method most underscore similar method to see the similar word embeddings of this word awful and then you can see that uh, it generated terrible horrible dreadful outrageous Uh, lousy horrid so all these words again are used in the same context as this particular word awful is used okay and again uh, these are the corresponding word embeddings or uh, word encoding values okay in the next cell uh, here okay i try to do some math or mathematics on word vectors okay for example i wanted to see the result of this particular query which is queen plus man minus women okay so man uh, queen minus women will remain the man and what will be the corresponding of the man it should be what king or other similar word okay uh, it totally depends upon the uh, corpus so if your corpus doesn't have the word king then it will try to find out next similar word or close word to that okay so when i uh, i try to use this method most underscore similar underscore cosmal and then in the in, as an argument for the positive values i provided queen and man because i am doing queen plus man here and for the negative i am providing women so minus because i am doing minus here so that means for the negative uh parameter i need to provide to women so when i ran the cell you can see that it generated lot of results 
and all of these are uh, actually associated with male species so hunter okay can be treated as king samurai can be uh, treated as king and warrior can also be treated as king uh, in the corpus uh, or imdb data set it might have uh, I, I mean the corpus didn't have uh, looks like the word king that's why it, it tried to generate other similar words so it gave the result very well here okay so it provided the result very well so basically it uh, you know it uh, this particular code returned the um, male variations of king because queen plus men minus women will result into king only okay in the next cell um, in the next cell i tried to do some more experiments okay that is i provided the list of words to the model in order to find out the odd word out of these uh, words okay so i provided these three words to the model man women and car and i was asking our model to uh, you know um, uh, find out the odd word from these three words okay so odd one out basically we tried to find out and i used this method doesn't match to uh, try uh, in order to find that out okay so when i ran the cell you can see that it very well or correctly generated the odd word which is car because man and women are human species okay are you hum related to humans but car is non-human and that's why this is the odd one out the odd word in this list of words so it uh, returned this word car in the next cell i created a bouquet chart to show you the similar words uh, as a cluster okay according to the context on a n dimensional space where n is equals to 100 for each word vector i started first uh, with you know importing these important uh, libraries like bouquet.plotting uh, bouquet.models uh, for hover tool etc then i defined the chart okay here uh, by using bp dot figure okay here you can see that okay i defined the chart bp dot figure where i defined the plot width as 700 plot height as 600 okay and uh, title as let us say okay title here actually it's a map of 5000 words word vector so it should be 5000 here okay so a map slash plot of 5000 word vectors okay and in the tools i included the tools like pan wheel zoom books box zoom reset hover okay preview save etc okay so um here um, you know i am uh, i'm defining our plot chart okay and in the next line uh, what i'm doing is uh, i try to get a list of word vectors limiting them to only 5000 okay so i try to uh, get the list of word vectors and only 5000 word vectors and each of those word vectors had 200 dimensions okay now since these vectors are very high dimensional in nature and we wanted to show them in two dimensional vector space so we had to do some dimensionality reduction and for doing this dimensionality de reduction i used t sne algorithm here okay here you can see that so i first imported the t sne class from uh, sklearn.manifold okay and then i created the t sne model by providing arguments like n underscore component okay which is nothing but uh, generally ask us to how many dimension we need to uh, we need the vectors reduced to okay and since we want them in two dimensional space so we provided the value two here okay now the second argument which is verbose uh, defines the verbosity level and we provided the level one to it okay to see the moderate information and last argument uh, was random underscore state which is 
the seed used by the random number generator okay next i trained this model using the dot fit underscore transform method so i am training this model using this method okay and um, uh, on the word vectors on the word vectors generated above here okay so here i generated these word vectors so i'm passing this these word vectors as an argument to our uh, training uh, model okay so during model training i provided this data to it okay and i kept them uh, limited to only 5000 vectors okay in the next line uh, you can see very well right that in the next line i created the data frame here okay uh, from the trained model limiting the count to 5000 only okay so here you can see that here i created the data frame and then use the model to uh, basically store the values and limiting them to only 5000 okay lastly i just created the scatter plot enabling hover and tooltip features here okay uh, such that the data source was the data frame uh, we created above so if you hover your mouse on this cluster of points so when i ran this particular cell i was provided with this graph and you can see that i am hovering over these point and it is providing me the corresponding word value okay so if we hover uh, uh, our mouse on these clusters of the points in the um, let's say lower left of the corner here okay you could see that all of these words which are depicted uh, you know which are depicted here you can see that all of these numbers are depicting some number uh, okay and which are clustered together because these are used in the same context okay so number you can see the 11 12 then 25 30 20 6 so all of these numbers are clustered together uh, due to having the uh, used in same context rest of the words are different okay so if you hover uh, you know you if, if we hover our mouse uh, in you know in the middle right let's say here or let's say here okay so we could see that the cluster point show uh, points show words depicting some amazing feeling like super fantastic excellent wonderful terrific all of these words are clustered together and uh, these are clustered together again because uh, these are being used in the same context okay all right so let's check one more example here you can see that all these clusters are nothing but languages like japanese indian native indian native and then french european so these points shows uh, you know the words which are clustered together in the context of language and same thing uh, here okay so all of these clusters you can check uh, uh, you know uh, for different values uh, what are they depicting okay so in a nutshell all of these all the words which are used in the similar context are grouped together isn't it amazing such as the power of word embedding and hence while building context based sentiment analysis application we use embedding as one of the layer in neural network uh, when we use keras framework there are two ways we can either use keras inbuilt word embedding layer for that purpose or we can provide any external pre-trained word embedding to that layer that is we can treat the word embedding we trained above as pre-trained word embedding model and then pass that model uh, in our neural network embedding layer for that you need to save your uh, model uh, your word embedding model and which is something i'm going uh, i'm doing in the next cell by providing uh, the for, uh, by actually uh, first setting the name of the embedding here okay so here i'm setting the name of the embedding which is mdb underscore word to work underscore embedding dot txt okay 
and uh, uh, then I'm saving the word to vec model here, okay, uh, by using the save save underscore word to vec underscore format method and passing file name as an argument. So let me know in in the comment section if you want me to create a separate video on how to pass a pre-trained word to vec model in the embedding layer of the neural network when using the Keras framework. Okay, so folks, uh, this is it for this video. Uh, to conclude, I continued uh, showing you the remaining Python code for playing around with word embeddings by uh, generating similar words, uh, doing some mathematical operations, uh, identifying the odd word, uh, and then uh, generated the scatter plot to show you how uh, words with similar context got clustered together and now um, last but not the least i also showed you how to actually save the model the word embedding model so let me ask you a question from today's video uh, which algorithm did i use to reduce the dimensionality of vectors please post your comment uh, comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.